Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, we are going to see how we can go ahead and install Docker desktop on my Mac machine. I'm using Mac Silicon, the M1 chip Mac version. So we are going to try to install it on this operating system using the M1 chip and then we'll move forward and install other applications on this Docker desktop version on my Mac mini. So let's do it. First of all, we just need to open Safari and look for Docker for Mac. And when we search for it, the first option is right here. Let's click on it. And it will give an option to install it for Intel chip. And then another one is for the Apple Silicon. So we'll select this one, allow. It will start downloading. And uh, might take a moment because the package is around 593 MB. So let it download. Now the download is finished. Let's just click on it to install and uh, just drag and drop to the application folder to install it. It will start copying and the file is accepted and make around 1.91 GB. It took around 1.91 GB on the machine. It's done. Let's click on the application folder. Look for Docker. It's right here. You can just open it. Now you can see Docker is an app. Do you want to open it? So let's just go ahead and click open. And from here, we'll move forward with the installation process. Let's accept. Use the recommended settings. That's good. Finish. Now we need to select some options from here. Okay. So let's select hobby projects and uh, what role you have. So I am a system administrator. Continue. Now we have the Docker available right here. Now it says on the right side, software from Docker and see added. Let's click on the first one. In the general settings, the Docker is allowed. Now let's click on the second setting. And the third one, everything is good to go. Now we have the Docker version here. From here, we can learn what is a container how do i can run the container publish your image run docker hub image we can click on it search for the image so it give us an idea how we can just go ahead and work with it now the docker is installed and this is the first screen under the containers here and i have already logged in with my account pc mac you can also do it and let's just go ahead and check the settings the main settings are right here resources so you can change the resource according to your requirement i'm using the default ones you can change the disk size as well right now it's 64 gb so that's enough for me and the location is right here library containers and all the containers that we will create make an entry on this particular location so let's just go back and uh, go to image and try to pull one image that is my favorite portainer that can help to manage docker images directly from the portainer so let's just go ahead and click on search image to run portainer so the image is right here portainer let's click on it and you can see okay this one is depreciated let's click here we can try this one so let's just pull the image and run it you can also use the command just copy it open your terminal and type the command over there and it will run it now it's done so click here and it's downloaded 465.47 mb files let's just click on run now it will give you some options optional settings uh, we can leave it 
blank a random name now we can just put the port number as shown here 8000 9000 and 9443 the image will be available on 9000 let's just go ahead and click on run volume and environmental variable will be automatically done by docker we don't need to do anything else run it's running now what we need to do is open safari and here we need to type localhost and 9000 as the port number when we click on it you can see it's open let's just do it same admin admin okay it's ask for 12 digit so this is done create user save the password and this is also logged in container io community edition here we can identify the roles of users and team everything is here so this is just for the testing purpose i showed you how we can just go ahead and install a image container using our docker in next video we will try some other softwares we'll try to install them on our docker and see how they work so that's it for today this is the way you can install docker on your mac operating system it's quite easy you can follow the tutorial and you can install it on your machine and wait for my other videos we'll go ahead and together to wait other videos and work on those containers so that's it from my end if you like my work please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification for my latest video thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day